Do you ever look back at your life and think, what the heck did I spend money on? Why don't I have any? Or was that just me? Impulse buying is a waste of money and it's probably not in line with your core values or what you want out of life. In this video, I will give you my tips on how to stop impulse buying and stop wasting your money. For more minimalism tips and lifestyle advice, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button down below if you like this video, and hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I post a video every Friday. Most of the time, impulse buying comes from, well, the companies. That's what they're there for. It's from advertising. advertising. Have you ever noticed how stores are laid out? Have you ever noticed during seasonal times that all the Christmas stuff is up at the front? They put things in your path so that you will buy them. It is designed that way for a reason. It is why going to the mall is never a good idea. Think about the overwhelm, the smells, the lights, the music. It is all designed to overwhelm your senses so you spend more money. I still impulse shop. I think that it will always be something that I struggle with. However, it has gotten a lot better in my lifetime. Most of my 20s, I couldn't even tell you what I bought and what I purchased. I think it's called Swans Digital. I'll put the address here for you. They say that Americans spend $5,400 a year on impulse buys. It also says that Americans buy a whopping $324,000 in a lifetime just on impulse buying. That's a lot. Luckily, there's a few tips that I can give to you that hopefully will help you impulse buy less and less. First tip, online shopping. With the time that we're in right now, we are doing a lot more online shopping than we normally would. However, don't make it easy for you. If online shopping is something that really, really is a problem for you, don't make it easy for yourself. Don't save your passwords. Don't save your credit card. The more steps, the more thought, the more actions you put in between you wanting it and you buying it, your brain starts realizing what's happening and then you're like, do I really want to get up to put a credit card in for what? I mean, that would be me, but make it difficult for you to do it. Tip two, wait. If there is something that you want, wait a period of time. That can be 24 hours, that could be your next shopping trip, that could be two weeks, whatever time frame you want. Just wait. Say, I can get this, but I need to wait for this item. If you're thinking about it later, allow yourself to get the item. You probably won't be. Tip number three, Lists. Do not go into any store without a list. Now, whether that's on your phone, whether that's a piece of paper, the hardest part about a list is not buying anything that is not on the list. If you're walking around the store, you see something that you would normally buy, but you forgot to write it on the list, don't get it. You need to be very strict with this. If you know impulse buying is a problem, then you need to make sure that you are only buying the things that are on your list. If you need to go home and put that thing on another list, you need to be intentional about the things that you're buying, and this can be very hard. You start making a lot of excuses as to why you need something if you do not stick to this rule. Tip number four, unsubscribe from email lists. There is no reason why you should be flooded with advertisements. That's what gets you to buy. When you open your email and you see that Bath & Body Works has 15% off on their candles. Well, you didn't seek out that. 
you only should be buying those candles when you need those candles. You should only buy and be buying clothes when you need the clothes. If you allow advertisements to make your decisions for you, that's where impulse buying comes from. That's where spending more than your budget comes from. That's where living beyond your means come from. You should only be seeking out those things when you need it and when it fits into your life. And as I mentioned before, don't go to the mall. My big thing, Bath and Body Works, as I mentioned before, that is where I buy all of my candles for my home. I don't go to the mall to purchase that. The Bath and Body Works in my city is in the mall. So instead of going to the mall, I order them online. It decreases my likelihood that I'm going to impulse buy something else, one, in Bath and Body Works, and two, there's all these other stores that, oh, well, while I'm here, I'll do this. While I'm here, I'll do this. You need to be intentional about your purchases. Go buy what you need to buy, and that's it. Hopefully these tips will help you buy less stuff in the future and not impulse buy or shop as much. Also, you can access my tips that I have for things to think about or remember as you're shopping. We know it's not always perfect, but hopefully these tips will help you the next time that you go shopping. The link is down below. Also check out these videos of different aspects of minimalism and simple living. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and leave a comment down below and let me know what your tips are for stopping your impulse shopping. Talk to you guys later, bye.